This video will talk about polynomial functions and the attributes of their graphs. So here we have a function. They want us to state the degree, figure out what the end behavior would be, and tell them what the y-intercept is. So degree. Remember, add those exponents, and that will tell you the degree of this polynomial. So 1 plus 3 plus 1 is going to be 5. And then they want to know the end behavior. Well, it's an odd degree. And a is less than 0 here, because we've got this negative going on here. So that means that it's going to start in the negative x's. It's going to start in the positive y's, or the starting at positive infinity. And it's going to go end being down at negative infinity. Remember, these are the opposite. As x gets very small, y gets very large. As x gets very large, y gets very small. And then they want us to do the y-intercept. Well, hopefully we've done enough of these that you remember that x equals 0. So we're really saying the opposite of 0 plus 1 times 0 minus 2 cubed times 5 times 0 minus 3. So we have a negative, and then this is just going to be 1. This is negative 2 cubed, and this is really just negative 3 because 5 times 0 is 0. So negative 1 times negative 2 cubed is going to be negative 8, and then times negative 3. Well, negative times a negative here is going to give me positive 8 times negative 3, which is going to be negative 24. 0, negative 24. Okay, so now we have to, we want to use some of this all together. Determine which graph matches the function. So x plus 1 quantity squared. Let's talk about the degree. The degree is going to be 2 plus 1 plus 1, so 4. So that means that both ends have to go the same direction. It's a positive, so this should be an up, up. So A isn't going to work. B would. C doesn't, because those are opposites. And D would. So I only have these two that I have to worry about right now anyway. I've narrowed it down. So now what are my zeros? My zeros here are at negative 1, and it should be bouncing. And we have a negative 3, and that one should be going through. And then we have it at positive 2, and that one should be going through. A T means through, and B means bounce. So at negative 1, it bounces right here, and it doesn't bounce here. So I'm thinking it's B, but let's make sure everything else works. X plus 3 goes through, and that would be at negative 3, and it goes through. And at negative, or positive 2, it goes through. So this is definitely going to be B. Let's look at this next one. The degree. X, I've got 2 plus 1 more is 3 plus 2 more is going to be 5. And it's a, A is greater than 0, so that means that we're going to have a down up situation. So down up is A, and down up is C, but it's not B and it's not D. So I've got these two to consider. Now we look at the zeros. Well, we have negative 1. And it's an even exponent, so it's going to bounce. We've got negative 3, but it's an odd exponent, so it goes through. And then we have 2 with an even exponent, so it's going to bounce. Let's start at negative 3. It should go through at negative 3. It does for both of them. Negative 1. This one looks like it went, changed directions, and this one looks like it bounced. So I'm thinking C. Keep going. At 2, it should also bounce. And it doesn't bounce up here at A, but it does at 2 down here. So we would say that this one is going to be C. Then it says, assume that A is 1, so we don't have to worry about the A's. Write the function for the graphed D in the same form, factored form. Well, I've got that x plus 3 at negative 3, and it bounced, so we'll say that's squared. And then we've got our x plus 1 to be that negative 1, and it goes through, so we'll just leave it as one factor. And then we've got our x minus 2 at positive 2, and it also goes through. So this would be a possible function. And I say possible because we're just thinking the minimum degree and those kinds of things. Now let's go the other way. Knowing what we have here, let's sketch. So the degree here is 3 plus 1. So the degree is equal to 4. A is greater than 1, so that means that we're going to have end behaviors that are up in both directions. The x-intercepts are the zeros. So let's figure those out. 
if I have 3x minus 4 equals 0 and x is going to be equal to 4 thirds. And if I have x plus 1 equals 0, then x is going to be equal to negative 1. That's my other 0 or x-intercept. And then the y-intercept, I'll do it in a different color. But remember that's just going to be 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0 plus 1 quantity cubed. This is negative 4 times positive 1 cubed, which is just 1. So the y-intercept is going to be at 0, negative 4. And then we've done the zeros and their multiplicities. We can do that when we're graphing. So I'm going to graph. Here's my axes. And I have um, x-intercept at 1 and 1 third. So it goes somewhere around here. And I've got another x-intercept at negative 1 so it goes here. A y-intercept at negative 4, so it goes right here. And I know I've got to start up and go through this negative 1, because this is an odd degree. And I have to go through my y-intercept, and I also have to go through that 4 thirds. So start up, and then go down to my graph, and then it's going to go up and something like this. This is not a parabola. Okay, this is just a real rough sketch of what it looks like, but this is not a parabola. Don't think that. Because of the way these were situated, and then my other one was farther over, it actually gave me a little bit different kind of graph.